Okay, so welcome to geometry. Um, this lesson focuses on a, what we call an incidence geometry, uh, which is just a geometry where points lie on lines in a plane. Uh, and so you, you should know that there are definitely some undefined terms that we're going to throw around. All geometers have some terms that they just don't define. Uh, we don't talk about what we mean when we say point. Uh, most people have an understanding that a point is a little dot. Euclid talked about how point is that which has no part. It's a nothing. Uh, we don't bother trying to define point. What you think point is, it is. Uh, we also don't talk about what a line is. Uh, this is the traditional understanding of what a line is. Uh, Euclid talked about something that went forever and ever in one dimension. Uh, so great, uh, whatever. Uh, your understanding of line is going to be fine for our purposes. Uh, we also don't talk about what we mean when we say plane. Uh, so uh, that's usually some two-dimensional surface, uh, the desktop you're sitting at, the, the board in the front of a classroom, a plane. It goes forever and ever in two dimensions. Uh, but we don't define a plane that way. A plane can be anything that we need it to be. We just have a common understanding that there is this thing called a plane and we're going to use those terms. Uh, we also don't talk about what it means to lie on. So when we get to these incidence axioms, these are the three rules that we're going to use to build our incidence geometry. We talk about what it means to, what we talk about points lying on lines, uh, lines lying on points. We don't define what that means. Uh, your understanding that this point lies on this line if the point lies on the line. Yeah, that's, that's probably going to do OK. That understanding is probably going to be fine for what we talk about. Um, Every axiomatic system, every system of rules that mathematicians create has some undefined terms. These are OK. These are OK. So if we may, uh, let's talk about an incidence geometry. There are three rules in an incidence geometry. These are the three ground rules. Uh, rule one, if there are two points P and Q and they are distinct, so they're not the same point, there exists exactly one line L such that both P and Q lie on line L. So what does that mean? That means if there are two points and they're not the same point, then there is exactly one line. We assume that that line is the so-called straight line between P and Q. Uh, it would be interesting for us to discuss what we mean by a straight line. OK? Uh, ground rule two. Ground rule two says, for every line L, there exists at least two distinct points P and Q, such that both P and Q lie on L. Now, that's a different thing than rule one was. Rule two starts with a line. It starts with a line. And it says, there could be 11 billion points on this line. I don't know. And this rule doesn't say. This rule says there are at least two. Maybe that's all there are. Maybe there are no other points on the line. But there are at least two. There can't be just one point on a line. And then ground rule three says that there exist three points that do not all lie on any one line. So there exist three points, and there's no one line that goes through all of them. Now, 
ground rule one says, here's a line, here's a line, here's a line. But ground rule three just says that there are three points and there is not one line that goes through all three of the points. These are the ground rules that we use to build incidence geometries. So uh, if in our work together you see me say, uh, prove the following in an incidence geometry, these are the only ground rules that you have. And then any theorems that you would prove as a result of those. So. Those are the way those are the rules that we use to build an incidence geometry. Every theorem that we prove in an incidence geometry starts with these three things. Okay? Great. That's your first part of your of the second lesson.